Starting off in Star Citizen usually goes something like this. You get a starter ship, maybe deliver a box, shoot some bad guys, make some money, run into a few bugs along the way, and save up to buy your dream ship. But what if you didn't start like that? Imagine you start at a mining outpost, and you had just the essentials. A suit of armor, a multi-tool, and a dream. This sounded like a fun challenge to me, so we tried it out. The plan is, let's spawn at a mining outpost near a cave. We'll walk over, mine, sell, repeat, until we had enough to buy the elusive Aurora ES for 124,000 AUEC. Easy enough, right? Wrong. This went terrible. Okay, is this the cave, guys? Oh, man. Can I even get down and up in that chat? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Well, that was a fast challenge. We realized this is why Star Citizen desperately needs FPS radar and a compass. We got lost in circles asking, was it that hill over there or was it that hill over there? I really think it's this hill in front of me. I really do. If it's not this hill in front of me, we're dead anyways, right? Spoiler, it wasn't. So we had a new idea. What if we started at an outpost on our feet with a multi-tool and a dream, but this time things would be different. This time we'd have a ground vehicle. And this, well, it also went terrible. It started with us using an Ursa to map our way to a cave on Microtech. And it went about as expected. I think I'm like right here. I gotta be honest with you. I think I'm like right here. Wait. All right, we're lost. <laughs> we're lost, chat. Okay. Um, then we tried rock mining on Aberdeen. It started pretty good. We found a Haddonite deposit. So just one rock here? Oh, man. Oh, two rocks. <gasps> and it's Haddonite. Let's go, boys. But then tragedy struck when we realized the ROC is pretty useless without a ship to fly it around, and the mining is pretty RNG without one. But this was a challenge. We're not going to let a few unfinished gameplay loops or logic get in our way. So we asked ourselves, why not start in a ground vehicle, but hire random players to transport us to a cave where we can hopefully mine and loot our way to our first ship. We hopped on a fresh alt account so nobody would know who we are and we got started. And this is how that went. I'm going to go ahead and recruit someone from Global. I said, can anyone give me and my Ursa a ride? I will pay you. We already got someone. Wow, that was fast, chat. Yo, look at this, chat. Look at my ride has arrived. Okay, great. Let's go, boys. He's already set this self to... He could draw me in space, guys. 100%. I'm trusting this guy. I'm 100% trusting this guy. He's taking me to HDMO Doms on Aberdeen. HDMO Doms on Aberdeen. I'm really trusting this guy. Oh. We got some NPCs, Chad. We got a Vanguard, we got a Hurricane, and another Hurricane. Dude, hopefully we're not going to die here. Chow, we are getting f***ed up. <laughs> oh, come on. Yo, chat, I want you to look at her hole top right. I want you to look at her hole. 
I can't get good good shots on him. Oh my god. Yo, NPCs are scary now, dude. Yo, I was in chat for this guy. What a legend. He said, I have to thank you. Have a safe adventure. What a legend, dude. Let's pray the RNG gods are on our side. All right, so all the Had Knight we see, we will hit. We're not going to hit. Um, I don't think we'll hit anything else. If we're if it looks like we're not going to make enough money just from the Had Knight, then um, we'll move back. I kind of feel like we should go explore the cave, right? And then after we explore the cave, then we hit the Had Knight. And the reason why is I think I'd rather prioritize um, gems first. Like the process gems if they're here. This looks like our first room. Hopefully some good luck here, chat. Right. Just a little subscriber box or armor box. You get subscriber items in here, though. Ooh, chat, we might not be getting lucky. Two armor boxes. No had night so far. All right, first box of had night here. Oh, it's a good one. How much does each had night sell for? Each of those that I just picked up are worth 2,300 a piece. I'm sorry, 2,750 a piece, actually. So more than I said. There were 10 units is what they're worth. Oh, here, here we go. I spoke too soon. Here we go. Oh yeah. All right. The more of these we get, the less had night we have to mine. Make sure we check every avenue, every nook, every cranny. Easy. Okay. Let's drop off everything we have. And then we're going to do the math. Uh, we're sitting at about 140 right now, guys, in the Ursa. Okay. Requesting. Um, or can anyone pick me and my Ursa up from a... And I'm going to say outpost. Oh, no. He said he's going to bring a hammerhead shot to pick me up. It'll work, guys. As long as he gets me there. As long as he gets me there. New player in a hammerhead's going to crash immediately. <laughs> well, at least it'll be fun to watch. One MSR work and MSR would work. Yeah. He's, it looks like he's flying way too low. <laughs> Is this it, boys? Oh, thank God. Okay, not bad. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Here we go, boys. All right, I'm going to have to guide this guy in, I think. Oh, man. I cannot believe we got this done. I don't see him, guys. Wait, hold on. Is this ship flying itself? What's going on? <laughs> Yo, look at his legs. <laughs> I 
Hey, listen, dude, I'm not complaining, all right? <laughs> How long till he cla crashed into Lorville? I'm really hoping that I can guide this guy into a gate. Uh, testing, can you can you hear me? So, um, if you pitch up here, actually to the right is where you need to draw me off, like outside the gates. All right, I'm going to go ahead and transfer the credits to you. Yeah, that big beacon to our left, that's the city gate. So anywhere right here works. I'm trying to get out, guys. It's not letting me. chat he turned his engines off too soon oh no yo chat is the hammerhead chair bugged no It's a 30k. Guys, it's a 30k. It's a 30k. It's not about the money. Hey, maybe the real starter ship was the friends we made along the way. Get to admin real quick and try to sell. Yeah, we could try. We could We're going to try to uh go to admin and see if we can sell from the Ursa guys. It's a feature. This is where we sell, right, guys? So. Ursa, let's go. 30K recovery. Let's go. Dolvine coming in at a sell of 72,800. Man, I am so pumped for that. Oh, thank you, Chris Roberts. All right. Big shout out to my man, Chris Roberts, for that. All right. Had and I coming in at 12,000. This is just our uh, non- a juicy had nine. 12,000 for the had nine. Okay. And then let's see. Select the location, backpack. Our red our juicy had nine coming in at 112,000 guys. So 197,000. So we made through the Dolvine, the hand mined uh minerals and the had a night 197,626. I would say chat that is a huge slam dunk for one cave and not only that but we did it using only in-game re resources without a ship and now for the moment of truth we get to go buy our starter ship <sighs> everyone take a deep breath we did it two hundred and twenty four thousand one hundred easy peasy let's go round of applause and shot ggs ggs we did it boys we did it Overall, I'd call this challenge successful. We had a few hiccups, but we did start on foot without our own ship and even made some friends along the way. This honestly makes me hope that starting on foot in the future can actually be a thing. So let me know in the comments, would you want to start on foot? Thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe if you like the video. I'm shooting for 100k subs by the end of 2022, and I can't do that without you. This is Captain Burks, signing off.